The argument can be made that for some things in our lives we take for granted, we do so because they've become a comfortable, welcome part of the background. Without it, we'd find something was amiss. That argument could be made for Glendora City Seal, a symbol of the heritage of our community. It can be found on official letterhead, city vehicles, and in public parks that residents see every day. In researching the history of the seal, we discovered the man who created it and the family legacy he left behind in Glendora exceeded our expectations. Recently, we spoke with Shirley, whose father, Webb Detweiler, designed the city seal. We were also joined by Shirley's daughters, Julie and Joanne. Join us, one story at a time, as we take a deeper look inside Glendora. Good morning and thanks again. Um, okay, so we're talking about the city seal and yes. that's what's brought us here this morning. Um, but we're also talking about um, a really strong heritage, uh, a, a really strong family story here in Glendora. So, um, can you, can you give me the, the name of the person that, that's brought us here today? Why are we here today? Webb Detweiler, Webb my dad. Detweiler. He was your dad? Mm hmm Okay. And do you know what year he was born? Yes, 1904. Here in Glendora? Right in Glendora. Okay. And so um, he was one of how many children? Six. Six. Raised by a single mom. Wow. He, he created the, the city seal for us. But let's go back a little bit before that. Do you know a little bit about him, his education? Yes, he went to Glendora Schools, Citrus High School. Okay. And as far as his art courses, he was just, had a natural talent. Okay. He never went to art school. He took a correspondence course and won prizes, and that kind of started it his career hobby okay doing art so it started out as a hobby mm -hmm. and then it became a career no no he okay. uh, it was just a sideline for okay. him so just a passion mm -hmm. what do you do as a career he worked at van burke's department store okay for 52 years which is now andrews wow he trained gary andrews 52 years <laughs> yeah, you don't see that too much anymore Started as a, a sophomore in high school. The seal was commissioned in 1955. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's 30-ish years, 25, mm -hmm. 30 years in there that he's, that he's working, but before the seal was created. An October 1947 article of the Glendora Gleaner describes the genial Webb Detweiler as celebrating 25 years with Venbergs that year, nearly halfway through his tenure with the store. At the time of the article, Shirley was herself a sophomore at Citrus High School. She was also the class president and song leader. So was he doing other work for the city? Uh, yes, the okay. Pomona Fair, the county fair. Okay. He did the displays there. Okay. I think he was 26 when he did the, one of the first ones. Okay. So he started work early. Mm -hmm. And just by people he knew or... I mean, is that, is that how he got those jobs, just because he knew people in town? Or? I think uh, people knew his talent and um, made arrangements with whoever was in charge of those displays at the fair or submitted his name. And he was commissioned to do those for the city. And there are actually some trophies in the Historical Society oh, okay. of awards. That he's that, won. That he got for the city. Okay. So it was, I mean, he was obviously really good at what he, mm -hmm. at what he did. So, doing stuff for personal use too? I mean, was he making art for the house? Well, he liked to do things for other people. Okay. And he, he just did a lot of things. He did awards for okay. the city schools and like if they had a, uh, blood drive, the Red Cross, he would make the sign and the thermometer and, you know, all of that. Um, and this, but this was when he was pretty young. Okay. So he just developed through the years. Right. 
And wasn't that 3D in a way? Mm -hmm. It was a whole like set. Okay. Yeah, and it looked so like this, a stage. Yeah, okay. the back setting. This was the It wasn't just flat. And there were it was dimensional. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like those shoe boxes when you're yeah. in school. <laughs> And yeah. another thing, if I could just throw in, sure. is what, what he would do for the other merchants downtown. Like if they were having a sale, mm -hmm. he'd make a poster about, you know, box toys or whatever having a sale. But it wasn't just that. It would have uh, all of these other um, artwork on mm -hmm. it. Like it was a true piece of art in itself. Right. And it was something they'd put up in the window and then just throw out. Right. But he took so much pride. Was he the in only game in town? Doing. Yes, yeah. and I have a little album that I put together. One Christmas, he had a Christmas advertisement or in every business in Glendora, a sign that he had made mm -hmm. up and down the avenue. Wow. And if you go into Andrews now, all of the wood signs he painted Okay. Gary has quite a collection of things, he, that, he, things that he did. Because he was around for 50 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and Gary... Even after he retired, Gary would have him do things for him. Okay. Which was nice for Daddy to be able to still be a part of it. And uh, Gary has kept all those as mementos and treasures. And I don't know if you know, but Andrews, every Christmas, puts up Christmas socks mm -hmm. along the balcony. Right. And they still put my dad's sock up every oh. year. <laughs> we'll have to look for that. It's coming up. <laughs> That's great. So this is the LA County Fair. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're still in the 30s. So he's just doing a lot of, he's essentially the marketing agency, if you will, for, for town. If people need marketing materials, they're, mm -hmm. they're going to web. Mm -hmm. He did letterheads and business cards, design business cards. And now is he getting paid for this? Not anything for the city. Okay. But other people would give him a they small, would pay yeah, a small amount. He just um, enjoyed doing it. Mm -hmm. it. It was a real therapy for him, oh, yeah. besides his job. Yeah. So what? I mean, what did he do? What did he do at the store? He ran the store. He okay. was pretty much the manager. Okay. He, he sold Levi's. To everyone in town. <laughs> yeah. And the kids would come in and they wouldn't have money for their cords or their jeans. And he would say, that's okay. And they'd say, oh, Webb, I'll give you a dollar. And uh, he would put the little t ticket on the spindle. Mm -hmm. And the next week they'd come in and give him another dollar because he felt that some of these kids in town just couldn't afford Things. So he was pioneering layaway. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I love the way they dressed oh, no. back then. Oh, he I tell you, to come to Sunday dinner, he and his brothers, they were in their little vests, long sleeve shirts, ties, shoes all shine. I mean, it was it a wonderful time. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, they, they liked to dress. He was kind of a fashion plate. <laughs> which, is, which is funny because this, Glendora is really known for its citrus, uh -huh. as most of the foothill communities are. So it wasn't necessarily that Glendora was a happening place, but he was just kind of ahead of his time, mm -hmm. it, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. But he, really, really deep in the, into the community. Yeah, he loved Glendora. He just, and all the people, all of his customers were friends. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that's a cartoon. Yeah, but that's something that he drew. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was, so he could have, he could have actually been an animator. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, because that's, that's, that's incredible work. Like Walt Disney. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, Walt Disney saw something of his and was pretty interested, but. It didn't ever happen. It just didn't pan out. Mm -hmm. I don't Isn't know. Isn't that amazing? We all, you know, walk past the seal or see the, the city seal, which is most, I would say, 99% of Glendora's residents' um, experience with his work. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a city seal. I mean, it's, it's very well done, 
but it's an official, you know, stamp and, you know, something that, that we use on documents and things like that. But um, it's interesting to see the, the art side, side of it. Yeah. Of it. All that he did these year, way, years way before the seal. Yeah, because that's, that's a lot of fun. I like that piece a lot. <laughs> um, and then these were little toy displays that Toy Town, I don't know where they... Now, it, it looks like mostly drawings and, and paintings. Was there, was there uh, carvings or I mm -hmm. mean, was there, it was mostly mm -hmm. just? Calligraphy. Okay. He did a lot of printing for different awards and um, books for people. Sign, you know, he mm -hmm. would sign it in calligraphy and they would bring him things to the house for him to letter. He made Christmas cards for families. That's crazy. But like in this one, the hat display, mm -hmm. he cut those out, correct? Like aren't some of those cut out? Well, he painted, these are real hats, right. but then he painted, you they know, all of this and did the whole display. He got an award on the next page from the company in Connecticut. And that's a hat the display hat. for Venbergs uh -huh. from 1935, and then mm -hmm. he got an award. Mm -hmm. From the manufacturer. So do you know what the city was using as an official mark before they commissioned the seal in 1955? Were they using anything? I, ha I really don't know. Okay. And um, I just don't think maybe there was a local person mm -hmm. other than d my dad that would do this sort of thing mm -hmm. for the city. And I don't know who came to him and asked him to do it. It was a city manager. Um, the city manager did. The city manager at the time. It's Craig McMicken was only city manager for Glendora from 1954 until 1958 before moving to Oregon. He commissioned the city seal in 1955. So, do you know if he did he just sketch it out on by hand mm -hmm. and, and it was mm -hmm. just kind of pen mm -hmm. and ink, mm -hmm. and then they they've just transferred mm -hmm. it. And, mm -hmm to be able to print it and, mm -hmm. and use it. As I know that on some of like official equipment years ago, it was on, um, uh, what is it, enamel? Like yes. metaled? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course now everything's printed and then put over a mm -hmm. sheet metal, but. Oh, he lettered fire engines and he lettered. Uh, by hand. By hand. The tr little truck, do we right have here. it in here? Oh, For the Foothill Lumber Company. That was one of his pride and joys. And everything, you know, his was hand done. This was all hand done. And he was all self-taught. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something else? Absolutely. When he was three, he pulled a cup of hot chocolate over his right hand and burned it. And in those days, it was just bandaged up mm -hmm. and forever. So he started using his left hand. And that's, he was left-handed. From then on. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. And did all that. Mm -hmm. And all three of us are left-handed. <laughs> and some grandchildren are left-handed. We're almost catching up with the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this family alone, it sounds like. And we're working on the little greats. Okay. See who can turn out to be left-handed. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I may have asked this before. You are one of how many in as far as siblings go? Two. I have a okay. sister. So just you, just the girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any any interest in art between you and your sister growing up? No, because when I needed a project, I could say, Daddy, would you do this? And Daddy did it. <laughs> she, Joanne, sat down with him when they would watch the girls, mm -hmm. their little kitchen table and say, they call him Popo. Popo, show me how to draw. And he would kind of sketch out something and then she would paint it and that's where her talent came from. Yeah, she definitely got the artistic ability in the family. Yeah, and, and I mean, obviously I got this story from you, meeting you for the first time and, and you obviously have a, have a strong sense of, of um, tradition with it. I don't have this kind of talent, but I do yeah. enjoy 
painting, mm -hmm. but you like the tradition. Yes, yes. yes. Like very, yeah. Yeah, and and you're you're helping to to keep it alive. Mm -hmm. um, so you you were born in town, mm -hmm. and you've just have you have you ever lived anywhere else? I defected to Laverne oh. for twenty years. <laughs> My mother never forgave us. <laughs> was so far away. And then when my husband passed, the house was too much. Mm -hmm. And I'm back in Glendora, I'm back home. So none of us have strayed very far. The girls all had to get away mm -hmm. and they're all back mm -hmm. and the grandchildren are here. I'm so blessed. Yeah, so right now we have four generations in town. Mm -hmm. So what is it about Glendora? It's special. It's the pride of the foothills. The sense of community, mm -hmm. you know, that we feel, and then our our kids enjoy, and didn't think they ever would come back, mm -hmm. but you know, one of my sons is back in town, the other one is in the barn, but he's the one that has two daughters, and so you know, that's what makes the four generations mm -hmm. here. And all Glendora schools now that Brixton started school, mm -hmm. everybody's five gone. generations attending. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, you left but came back? I lived in San Dimas for a while. Oh, that's leaving. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but just know, the tradition, you know, um, growing up, going to Glendora schools, going to Glendora High, having your kids go to Glendora High, mm -hmm. you know, having my son played football at Citrus where I was a little flag twirler and, and on the field at Citrus where, you know, just like that tradition that you just keep going back and then you hear the alma mater and it's, uh, there's just a lot of pride. And I love old things and, and having the history and having, being able to tell people my grandfather designed the city seal of Glendora and having a shop in Glendora. My husband has a business in Glendora. Okay. Our dad had his pharmacy downtown Glendora on Glendora Avenue. You were, you were telling me about that. Turner's <laughs> Pharmacy. And then our grandfather had not worked his whole life in Glendora. Right. You know, it's just... So do, do you feel... A, I, I think you kind of touched on it. Do you feel a pull for Glendora? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to share that I still get together with five girls that I started kindergarten with. Wow. I'm not going to tell you how many years ago that No, was. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, we make it a point to see each other a couple of times a year. Great part of, of this conversation is that, yeah, when we, we did come here to, to learn more about the SEAL, um, but I almost feel like that would be a short conversation, you know, just, uh -huh. yeah. just talking about the SEAL, especially now with the background is that there wasn't a whole lot of fanfare. I mean, thankfully, we do have some, some documentation of it, but it doesn't, doesn't sound like there was a whole lot of fanfare made about the seal, nor did he really he wasn't, want that. He was no. very humble. I mean, he just, he walked to work back and forth every day. Yeah, my uncle was a councilman. Oh, okay. Dutch Detweiler, mm -hmm. Francis Detweiler, and he was a spitfire. So I don't know if you want to go there. <laughs> He fought City Hall. <laughs> he, was, he was kind of a rabble rouser. Uh, that's, no, that's, a, that's a whole other story. We could do a whole other show on that. Yeah. That's part, part, part two. Uh, and my mom never had a cleared off dining room table. He always had a project going. And this isn't for publication, but he would use little china cups and put his paint in there. And he got into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> With mom. Quit giving us all this good stuff. You I know. I know. I'll, I'll, con I'll, convince you, I'll convince you that that is for public use. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a great no story. around to really get yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, But anyway, I have this picture, and I have one little mug-like thing that they won. They were ballroom dancers, and they won some prizes for that, too. And um, so he took one of the cups and mixed some paint, and... <laughs> 
Now that cup only had one use after that. Right. <laughs> For you, um, do you does it does it register with you when you see the the city seal? Like Joanne, she sees the seal and. and oh yeah, I kind of get teary sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I want to offer my sincerest thanks for letting us uh, take your time this morning. Oh to, my to goodness, talk about it's this. our pleasure. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I hope you have too. Um, I look forward to to the city carrying on the tradition of the seal, and uh, I think people are really going to get a kick out of out of the stories that you've told today. Uh, I'm going to use probably all the stories <laughs> you've told good. today. Good, that's good. Because. Uh, <laughs> You've been fantastic. So, thanks, thanks for letting us uh, uh, share your morning. Well, I shared some family secrets. Yeah.